So this is a uh, engine powered uh, case baler. So um, there'd be just a regular four cylinder Wisconsin engine that would have powered the original baler. We actually had the original baler at home so grandpa could look at all the parts and how all of them worked so that he could actually put it together exactly how the real ones worked. So yeah, and then it would basically, it's also a wire tie baler. So two people would sit and they would feed the wire through, basically loop it around and then it would just go out. So instead of having an automatic knotter, it just, you had to have two people knot it for you. You have to understand how the real machine functions to understand how to make a model function. So that's why grandpa, he would buy the original and he would tear it apart or he would do research. He built, he bought manuals, he bought any information he could find on how it functioned, any parts, breakdowns, anything. He would figure that out and then he'd put it together and build these amazing things. So this is, we're calling it Country Christmas, a Country Christmas, and it's supposed to be sort of a collaboration between two people with farm backgrounds who are showing it how it was to live around here, I guess, during times when farms were, family farms were a little more common. So we were trying to bring together uh, different kinds of expressions. So, you know, as I go, as I learn the history of the area, um, it's just been really striking to me that that, that pattern of losing the farms. And this, you know, he's, Doug was talking about how these farms are having a lot of value now and they're reselling, but they're not going back to what they used to be. So, you know, that is a different process too. Yeah, they're selling, but they're selling to people who are doing something very different with them than um, used to happen. So I think that this art exhibit is important and it will both resonate with people who grew up in this era and maybe teach some people who didn't what we may be losing. You know, I think when people um, are, aren't from a farm and they paint farms, you end up with pictures of like romantic landscapes with tractors on a hill. And you know, when I saw Doug's work, I could immediately understand the scenes that were happening. And, I, and it made me know that Doug must really be a farmer because who else would paint break time? Who else would paint the discussion trying to make the farm go bigger or not? So these scenes really, uh, I think, capture Wisconsin's history in a way that most paintings of farms, I haven't, I haven't seen that.